Hey everyone, this is Stuart with Wine All The Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing another wine from the Macy's Wine Shop. This is the 2018 Free Flight Red Blend Wine, which is, I normally think of red wine blend, not red blend wine. Anyway, uh, this 14.5% alcohol by volume, and you can find it at the Macy's Wine Shop in the link below. Uh, also speaking about the link, before I begin the review, if you like this wine or any of the other Macy's Wine Shop wines that I've reviewed, then go ahead and click that link in the video description. That'll take you to a place where you can get three bottles for only the price of shipping and taxes. So feel free to take advantage of that offer and uh, get yourself some wine for cheap. So let's take a look at this wine. So the research I was able to get on this wine I was able to find out that this wine is a blend of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and uh, other grapes. I couldn't get any more information on it from anywhere. Uh, but you know what? That's not the end of the world. Let's see what the wine's like. So from a color standpoint, you are a deep ruby. No artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so on the nose. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of plum. We're getting a little black cherry. There's also a, what is that? Oh, um, so if you ever been to IHOP and and you have uh, like and I don't know if IHOP does this because it's actually been a while since I've been to IHOP. But when I used to go to IHOP, uh, they used to have like three or four different syrups. And so you had your standard maple syrup, you had like your strawberry or raspberry syrup depending on what the location offered, and then you had a boysenberry syrup. This smells like boysenberry syrup, like it has a touch of boysenberry syrup inside of it. Yeah, man, that is a smell I have not had in a long time. Kind of want pancakes now. In terms of intensity on the nose, medium intensity, the alcohol is very well integrated with it. So I'm not really getting much of the alcohol note on there. And uh, so I'm actually not getting too much secondary. There's like a, I don't know how to say it. It has like a barn wood smell. It's not like a Brettanomyces barnyard type of kind of funk or defect. What, what it reminds me of is this kind of little wood shack that was in this place that my wife and I went camping a while back and you walk into that area to get some of the firewood and just kind of has this like old wood smell but not in a bad way in a camping nostalgia kind of way anyway so enough of that let's get to the taste all right medium plus body this is a juicy wine this i felt italian right there this is, this is just very it's like fruit bomb in your mouth the the tannins are, are there i would say you it's, it's probably got medium plus tannins it's hard to describe the tannins because they're not fine, but they're not coarse, and they're just, they're kind of there. Like, like, like it, it, there's no real like scratchiness or soft velvety notes or plush note. Like there's nothing there about the, it's just kind of there. The alcohol is very well integrated, medium alcohol. Uh, finish is medium going to medium plus on the finish. So in terms of how it hits the palate, uh, right up front on the approach, boom, fruit bomb. Just tons of just ripe, and juicy fruit in your mouth, which is sounding weird now. And then going into the mid palate, uh, that's when the tannins show up late to the party. Going into the finish, the, the fruit leaves part way through, the tannins stick around. No one gets bitter though, so that's nice. Uh, in terms of the rating, let me take a sip and let's get to the blit. All right, so from a balance standpoint, I'm gonna give you a full point. I think everything works, no complaints. Length, medium to almost medium plus finish, but that's still only half a point. Intensity, medium on the nose, medium plus on the palate, half a point. And in terms of complexity, I am getting a lot of kind of dark fruit notes. Uh, I'm not really getting too, too much else. Uh, there's not like a ton of secondary characteristics that come out into this wine. Uh, there's not really like a whole bunch of stuff other than like the dark fruit notes. And while the dark fruits are enjoyable, I'm not really getting a lot of complexity with this wine, so no points there. However though, in the end, that still gives you a good rating. You're still a good wine, and I'm not gonna be uh, disappointed when I have you with uh, a little bit of pot roast later. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine All The Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2018 Free Flight Red Blend Wine? Not red Wine Blend, Red Blend Wine. I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and also don't forget, you can take advantage of that Macy's offer by clicking the video description so you can get three bottles sent to your home for just the price of shipping and taxes. And I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.